So a few years ago when the state was celebrating their 100th, 150th anniversary as a state, uh, a group of native artists from here in the cities uh, got together and decided that they want to have, have, have their own response to the 150th anniversary of the state. And so as an artist, I was invited to be part of this. And the image that I came up with was uh, almost immediate because being a, a Episcopal clergy uh, serving here in Minnesota, uh, the, the person I wanted to try to portray was Bishop Whipple and then combine it with the, uh, the event that happened, which is probably one of the more, uh, I would say probably the saddest, con the saddest event that happened in 1862 with the Dakota conflict was the hanging of the 38. So this uh, painting is kind of iconic of that uh, event. It, uh, I want to try to capture everything about it. So with uh, the image of Whipple looking up in the, in the air with the, what are like raindrops falling down, but are in fact hangman nooses, 38 individual uh, nooses that I put together to uh, convey that image. So it's, uh, one could say the 38 tears of Bishop Whipple or the 38 tears of God raining down upon him. The, uh, the, the hangings of the 38 at the time, from what the accounts that I've read of it, of the account of the event was that, um, it was more or less like a blockbuster. It was uh, people came from all around and to witness this event. Public executions were a big deal. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's like a free movie. So everybody came to see this and then um, one person was selected to uh, pull the lever and all 38 were hung in unison. So it was the largest uh, mass execution in American history. And um, so to try to capture that, the whole image, the uh, um, symbolism behind it and also uh, who Bishop Whipple was. He was a big part of uh, Minnesota history, early Minnesota history as far as the state goes. Uh, he was uh, instrumental in um, bringing the Episcopal Church here, uh, planting the seeds all over the state. Uh, the church from when he first became the bishop to his, uh, when his episcopate ended in um, the late 19th century, it grew by, you know, just by leaps and bounds. So he was uh, a big part of this um, Minnesota history, which some it's, it's, it's interesting how it's all left out in this whole Minnesota history. Like who's Bishop Whipple? You ask most people, I'll say who, uh, don't know who that is. But a uh, uh, big part of the state history. And then of course, coupled with the event that happened in uh, 1862 on December 26th, with the executions, I think that uh, was a big part of uh, uh, a big event that formed his ministry from then that, that point on. So it was, uh, you know, Native ministry was, you know, I think pushed him in that direction in a lot of ways. You know, that really defined who he was as a person and how, what his ministry was then about. Now some people say he's a saint. Some people say he's a villain, you know, so we could look at it all different ways, but that's uh, the historical um, accounts that we could read. We could read into it, pull it out of context, and um, use it as we will uh, to serve our own purpose. But the fact is, is that he was somebody who was a complex man who uh, was serving in a church that was pretty much uh, wanted to see the Indians go away but he was somebody who tried to stop that whole push and he uh, succeeded in a lot of ways. So, it, you know, I, I would call him uh, maybe not quite a hero, but somewhere between hero and just a good guy. Uh, this year we'll start seeing more and more uh, uh, things emerging around the uh, Dakota conflict because it's the 100th anniversary, 150th anniversary. So, um, you know, I'm really uh, uh, pleased that this painting is being used for our convention to, uh, 
to be used as a, a vehicle or an icon to help people go deeper into understanding this whole uh, Dakota conflict and what it was about. You know, it's about uh, honoring treaties, it's about um, treating people equally, it's about racial justice, you know, it's social justice, it's gospel based, you know, no matter how we look at it. So it's, that's what I hope this painting can do.